Maria W. Stewart, born 1803 and died 1879, was born in Hartford, Connecticut, a free black woman descended from former slaves. She was an American activist, an abolitionist, and a lecturer. She was the first woman to lecture to an audience that included both men and women in 1832. She was orphaned at five years old and became an indentured servant to a minister until she was 15. She attended church schools and read from the minister's library and was self-educated. She married James W. Stewart, an older black man, and became part of the free black middle class in, of Boston. Her husband died in 1829, left Maria penniless due to the fact that the executors of his will took all his money. At the end of 1830, or the middle of 1830, she had a religious conversion and became a warrior for God, freedom, and oppressed Africa. In 1832, 1831, I'm sorry, she met William Lloyd Garrison in, the Bo in Boston at his newspaper, The Liberator. Garrison had advertised for writings by black women. She wrote for The Liberator until 1835. She then moved to New York, became a teacher, and then moved to Baltimore in 1852. In 1861, she ends up in D.C., becomes friends with Mary Todd Lincoln, seamstress, a freed, for, a freed slave, Elizabeth Keckley. She died in 1879 as in buried, is buried in Graceland Cemetery in Washington, D.C.